They don't love you like I love you. Slow down. They don't love you like I love you. Back up. They don't love you like I love you. Step down. They don't love you like I love you. Can't you see there's no other man above you? What a wicked way to treat the girl that loves you. Oh, love. They don't love you like I love you. Hey guys, it's Shantae's Way here today. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how I did my wash and go back when I had like heat damage um, someone asked me if I could do a video showing like how I would do my hair back in w when it was heat damaged and I thought that would be a really good video to do since a lot of people do want to know how to do wash and goes on heat damaged hair so of course now my hair is not heat damaged um, but I did not always have hair like this it did used to be heat damaged so I'll show you guys what I used to do, my hair is drying up right now, which I hope that that doesn't affect anything. But I did just get out of the shower. And I'm going to show you guys the products that I used to use. Because I still have a lot of the products that I bought back when I was heat, heat damaged. Like, that was years ago, guys. And I still have some of the products. So, yeah. Okay, so the first thing that you want to make sure that you're doing is to put a leave-in in your hair. Do not do your hair... Um, without putting a leave in it because it's really important. It really does make a difference in your wash and goes. Next thing you want to do is add a cream to your hair and this is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and pretty much that is the um, cream that I used to use back when I was heat damaged. I would either use Shea Moisture's Milk Line and I'll put a picture right here or I'll use the Shea Moisture um, smooth enhancing smoothie. My favorite was the the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie, so I'm gonna go ahead and use that. put in and I did want to let you guys know a couple of things about applying your products when you have heat damage. So that you did notice when I was putting my cream on I made sure that I was smoothing my hair down. Um, it was moving a fast so I'm going to show you guys. I was smoothing my hair down like this and the reason why I was smoothing and raking is because when your hair is heat damaged you want to make sure that you are raking so that you can get some curls to form. If you guys can see my curls are already kind of forming even though my hair is not dry and it doesn't really look like it but they are kind of forming and that is from me continuously raking while I'm applying my products so just make sure that you always rake your hair so that it'll be easier for your curls to kind of come together even though that you don't really have curls you can kind of train your hair to curl by raking it through I also wanted to mention to you guys that I did use the Shea Moisture's restorative line a lot when I had heat damaged hair so this is what it looks like um, this is the shampoo but um, I use the conditioner and I use it today just so that I can use all the products that I used when I had heat damaged hair. I'll link my wash and go video down below because I wash my hair the exact same way. I just want to make sure that I put it in this video that I do um, recommend the raw shea butter moisture re retention and restorative line. This whole entire line, this like tan label, it's for dry damaged hair. So it really, really, really does work and it, it is a great product for hair in general but damaged hair to be exact okay so at this point i will always apply jojoba oil and this is the first oil that i use on my hair so what i do is i just apply it and i focus a small tad bit on my ends because my ends were straight and honestly i didn't want them to be um too way down the ends of my hair will always look way down so that's why I always apply it all over my hair and just tap, tap, tap to the ends of my hair. 
So once I apply my sealing oil, I will always apply a gel. And the reason why I used a gel is because my curls were not there. So I didn't want my hair to not keep its curl. So what I did was I applied some gel and I always use the white defining diva curl white defining gel when back when I was transitioning um, but here's another option for people who don't really want to buy the white defining gel you can use mousse now when you use mousse make sure that you have an all-natural brand so that you're not using a mousse that will make your hair all like stringy and just a hot mess because I just I stayed away from mousse for the longest time but Shea Moisture has a mousse and they have um, a couple of mousses on their line so make sure that you get a good mousse but what you're going to do I'm going to use gel because back when I was transitioning that's what I used so I just put a little bit of gel in my hands and what I did was I just scrunched my hair with the gel on the palms of my hands And so once I got that all done, you can stop here if your curls are halfway through the heat damage journey. But if you have really heat damaged hair like I did, then you would need to go like an extra step to make sure that your curls actually are there in the morning when you wake up and your hair is air dried. So what I would do is I would just take the pieces that were straight and I would simply just curl them. So. This is what I would do. I would take the pieces that were straight and I would curl them with my finger. And you see how that is now a curl? <laughs> you see how that and you see how that's now a curl. And my problem was in the front. So I would take my front pieces and I would rake my hair like that. And I would just curl my hair with my finger. Hold me close till I get up. Time is barely on our side. I don't want to waste what's left. Okay, so once my hair is like finger coiled in the spots that I wanted it to be coiled, um, I would just leave my hair alone so you can't touch your hair because it will get super frizzy especially with heat damage. One more thing that I wanted to mention is you need to flip your hair over so that your curls in, your, in the back can have a little bit of volume too. So what you're going to do is you're going to flip your hair over and you're going to scrunch your hair. So I'll insert a picture of what my hair looked like when it was heat damaged but dried. And I did this entire technique and this is exactly how my hair would look in the morning um, from me doing this technique that I just showed you guys. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come to you guys quickly to um, like tell you guys some things. I mentioned that the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie and the Eden, the Eden Body Works um, cream that I had, I mentioned that I have had that since I literally went natural. Um, the Curl Enhancing Smoothie I actually repurchased but that's still from back when I was heat damaged and not fully natural. The reason why I wanted to get that across to you guys is because the reason why I had those products for that long is because as you go through your natural hair journey, your hair is going to change. I just wanted to get across that the products that I used to use back when I was heat damaged no longer work for me. Um, you know, I put in my hair just to kind of show you guys what I used when I was heat damaged because that was what what was requested but at the same time I don't like to use that product now it just doesn't work as good as it used to with my hair and you're going to experience that um, a lot of people do experience that where products that used to work from them for them back when they were heat damaged or when they weren't fully natural doesn't work for them now or products that they tried back when they were heat damaged or didn't have uh, fully natural hair works excellent on their hair now because I know with me a lot of products that I used to didn't think work good with my hair work my hair now 
Um, so it's just a matter of trying things out. Also, I wanted to note that with my hair, if you have hair similar to mine, you do want to apply your products on soaking wet hair. When you apply them on damp hair, when you apply them on hair that's um, kind of dry, for me personally, that never works. My okay guys, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope that it helped someone out there. If it did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to this channel and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.